and Joseph arrived at Bethlehem, things didn't look too good at all. There were so many other people to be counted that all the hotels and inns seemed to be full up. There was no room anywhere. I know, Mom. The innkeepers let loose some sheep to make room for Mary and Joseph in the stables. The shepherds watch their flocks. Do not be afraid. I have great news for you. Today, Jesus has been born. He's the savior of the world. You'll find him lying in a manger in a stable in Bethlehem. Just follow the star and it will take you there. Oh, shepherds, how did you know we were here? While we were watching our sheep, the sky lit up with angels, and they told us that you were here. Values. This isn't part of the play, David. Is the baby's parents here in the congregation? Han, go get my phone. It's in my blue purse in the church. Guys, I haven't been here for much rehearsals, but what's going on? I'm sorry, the play's over. He's a baby in a manger. Look through the crowd. What am I looking for? Most likely a young mother or a couple. She'll likely be scared or upset. Go. No, actually, don't do that. I'm sorry? Brock Clayson, South Lake PD. I'll take the baby. Thank you. Go ahead, David. Allison Hensley, child safety officer. So thank you, officer, but I've got this. Ma'am, I'm not going to get into an authority match with you here, OK? And who are you calling ma'am? I'm not going to ask you again. You need to give me the child. All this because you say so and haven't even shown me a badge? Is that how you do things? It's Christmas Eve. I don't think either of us brought our badges to a Christmas play. 
keep that on you just in case a child falls at the playground? No, I came straight from court this afternoon. Can I ask why you two are squabbling over here more than this baby? Good grief, why is there a baby? Yes, Chief, I was trying to explain to this lady that this unwanted, abandoned child is a police matter and that she needs to relinquish the baby. Jane, I don't know who this guy is, but he's seriously slowing down our chances of finding this baby's parents. All right, all right, okay. Allison, this is Brock. New to the force, just transferred onto the town unit. Brock, this is Allison. Allison is an officer for child aid and safety right here in town. Neither of you are more important than the other. I have to say that now because I was told that in my sensitivity training. Try to focus on the actual problem. You can process the baby, you can handle the crowd. Clear? Fantastic. Everyone gets a participation trophy. I'll check the crowd. I'll take the baby to the hospital, make sure she's okay, and see if anyone's trying to find her. Smart. The problem, Barry, is that the mother might show up. Nine times out of 10, they most likely do. She could be homeless or hungry or just confused. We need to make sure that one of us is at the station in case she comes in. And I fully support your idea. This is not me challenging you. I want to empower you to make the best choice. Did you attend the same mandatory kid clubs training as the chief? They gave us tote bags. Surprisingly nice. Oh, wait. You know, I wrote something down here. I can't do this right now. I gotta go. No, no, no. Do you ever feel underappreciated? Doctor's here. I really gotta go. Merry Christmas. Hi, doctor. I'm Officer Allison Hensley. I brought the baby in. Of course. First things first. She's great. Healthy, happy. She was a bit hungry, but the nurses are feeding her right now. So by all accounts, she's perfect. And were there any records on file, information? They ran a quick check, but nothing. Hi, doctor. Brock Clayson. I'm heading up the abandoned child investigation. I'd like to ask you a few questions. So sorry. This is sort of his thing. We can handle this. I highly doubt that. If you two are done, I have quite a bit of work ahead of me before I can get home to spend Christmas with my family. Of course. Sorry. The baby's just upstairs. You can take her whenever you're ready. Thank you. You can call the chief if you'd like. I was told I was heading this investigation up. I don't need to call the chief because my supervisor already explained to her that this is a child safety case, and I'm heading it up. Well, then I guess technically, the case is open until one of us is first to respond. Looks like. <laughs> Really? We're racing now? What are we, 12? Yeah, you're right. What are we doing? Both caring, I think. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that'll teach me. I was first, so I'm here for the baby. Thank you. You weren't. I clearly beat you, even with your little games. Accept it. OK, I'm just going to let you guys do your thing. I'm just going to grab the baby. That would be great. Thank you. You know, you should really carry yourself better. You're technically an officer. What do you mean, technically? You don't think child protection is an official thing? Of course I do. That's why I do actual police work. No, Mommy and Daddy shouldn't be having any bites in front of brand new little ears. Oh, this is not my husband. Definitely not. We work together. Oh, you're the police officers. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were the Turners. Sorry, I'll go get Joy now. Joy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I saw her, I was like, she's just this little bundle of joy. She's just kind of stuck. <laughs> no, this, this baby is Madeline. I'll be right back. She was just going to give that baby to complete strangers. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Good to see you're not that bad at your job. Thanks. Look, we should probably call a truce on this. I don't see any reason why we can't work on this together. Truth be told, we'll need all the help we can get, especially at Christmas. You're right. Truce. Good you're both here. You're getting the baby now, and then Brock and I will take her over to Child Services. Well, that's... A good a segue as any. What's wrong? Well, much like your play tonight, 
There's no room at the inn. Christmas Eve, every foster home is filled. So we're trying to contact an out-of-town place to see about a short term. I'll take her. Allison, are you sure? Yeah, I only have to see my mom tomorrow. Other than that, I'm painfully free. I can help. We're working on this together, right? Not complaining. I'll take the help. Look at that. Baby has a home for Christmas, and the two of you have a wonderful experience knowing uh, well, that you helped out this child. Yeah. Second time's a charm. <gasps> oh, man. Sure, of course. Oh, there you go. Nice. Didn't even ask who he was. Just handed her right over. Ooh, yeah. He's a special baby. Is it you? Is it you? Brock, you started you? looking into the parents? Yes, ma'am. I've checked through the records. Checked upstairs. Nothing yet. After you get this baby settled, why don't you head to the station? See what's been filed in the last 12 hours. It's possible this baby was in a stolen car. You know, it's most likely a young couple or a mom who just didn't know what to do. I'd sure like to believe that. Perry, if you're finished playing Grandpa, you're my ride. I guess I am, aren't I? Always the mean lady saying we're done. Christmas baby. Okay, I um I packed you guys some receiving blankets and formula and diapers and all that. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. And guys, really, thank you for doing this. It's a wonderful help. And hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Barry. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Joy. Shall we? Okay. Oh, uh, do you guys have a proper car seat? Oh, Sorry, hospital rules. You can't take a baby out of here without a proper car seat. Absolutely. Do you have a car seat we could borrow? I can call my brother. He's like a billion kids. I'm sure he's got one I could borrow. <laughs> Are you sure this is Joy, though? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Joy. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. If you want, I can go get another blanket from the nursery. It'll be warm. Tracy Joy. <laughs> Sticking with Joy then? It's as good a name as any, right? Here. Oh, honestly, it's okay. My brother should be here any minute. So you're new to town? Just transferred on Wednesday, actually. That must have been tough for the family, especially on Christmas. I actually moved here to be closer to my brother and his family. Oh, no better half? No. Gives me more time to focus on my career. Plus, I don't mind covering the holidays, you know? A lot of cops have families, so they could be there with their kids. That's very sweet of you. It's actually my first name, Officer Sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone kept making fun of me. That's the real reason why I transferred. So naturally, you overcompensated and gave yourself the name Brock? How much? <laughs> a little, but it suits you. How about you? Have you always been a bleeding heart? If by bleeding heart you mean I wanted to protect children and make sure they're safe, then yes. <laughs> and your other half? A little forward to assume that I'm married. That's just how Officer Sweetheart rolls. <laughs> Not married. I can't say this is exactly how I expected to meet your new family. It's my brother Clark. Clark, this is Allison. She's an officer with child safety. Oh, finally, somebody doing some actual protection work. Thank you, someone who appreciates what I do. How are you two related again? Well, was, let's just say when I was little, I just wanted a baby brother so badly that mom and dad brought him home one day. A newly adopted baby brother with some major attitude. Be careful what you wish for. We're working on a case together, hence why I called you. It's also Christmas, so why else would you call me? 
If you give me your keys, I'll go install the car seat. Oh, yeah. Red SUV. Thanks. Uh, you need help with that? I'm good. After our third one, that's when I finally figured stuff out. Hey, uh, holler if you need an expert. <laughs> oh, man. Who could ever leave this little angel? Hard to imagine, right? I'm hoping it was done out of love. Well, I like to think that, good or bad, any decision we make about our kids starts with love, right? You two have a different outlook on life. Oh, yeah, I definitely have the uh, rosier pair of glasses, right? <laughs> I think Brock's glasses are half empty. Well, yeah. Unless you're catching them at the worst time of the year. I don't think this case is making it any easier. I used to lean on mom and dad more, but there are just some things that he just keeps buried inside. What do you mean? Well, it's not my place to say, but, uh, my brother had a rough start in life. We poured as much love as we could into him. And he's usually good when he lets his guard down. But it takes him a long time to trust new people. He's been let down a lot. All set. Great. Thank you for letting us borrow it. My pleasure. Anything for this little lady. <laughs> Tell the kids you stop by tomorrow to watch them over the Christmas stockings, yes? I have to work part of the day, but I'll make sure I at least come by the house at some point. Great. Happy roads. Happy roads. Allison, nice to meet you and you too. And if you want to come by tomorrow for Christmas dinner, pretend to be this guy's date, we'd all be very sharp. OK, you can go now. Merry Christmas. Your brother seems so really I'll follow you to your house. Sounds good. Here, it's getting colder out. Oh, thanks. Where are you gonna put this on? I'll put the stuff inside. Wait. What's wrong? She's sleeping. What do we do? I honestly don't know. Do we leave her? And wait with her in the car all night? There's no way people do that. Well, how do we get her out without waking her up? Well, I used to be in the bomb squad. <laughs> Good to know. No, I'm saying I could probably bring her in without waking her. You think? Yeah, I'm confident. OK, do your thing. What do you need from me? Uh, maybe just clear a path. OK, I'll get the door. Perfect. Let's do this. Hey, you're very brave. <laughs> Not that. Wow. Did this baby eat at Sully's diner? Here. What do you mean here? Take it. Come on. I need a new one. Oh. <laughs> Hurry. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Oh. 
healthy diet. What's this? Here. What do I do with these? A wiper. Oh. I'm gonna need more. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, right? <laughs> Looks good to me. Not a bad team. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully whoever gets her gives her the love she needs. Well, hopefully we'll find your family and help them figure out what they need to get back on track. You know when we find the parents, if they're even still around. They'll have to be prosecuted, right? I thought we were gonna work together on this. We did, but that doesn't mean going along with your gumdrop, happy ending version. There are laws. I knew I couldn't work with you. You know what? You stay here and watch over the baby. I'm gonna head down to the station and find out more on these, of course, misunderstood, but incredible parents. You know what? Just try not to arrest anybody on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Every year, huh? Every Christmas. Okay, well, as long as it's not socks, Kip, we'll be good. Sorry, I got them because you're always complaining that your feet are cold when we're out. Plus, look. Oh, I hope that's the self-destruct button. No, they heat up. It's actually kind of nice. Thank you, Kip. That's very thoughtful. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, uh, Brock, right? Yeah, hey. They were just uh, doing the usual gift exchange with the usual Christmas crew. You are welcome to come and join us if you like. It's very kind of you, but I'm on a bit of a time-sensitive case here. Right. The, uh, the Christmas baby. How's that going? Trying to locate the parents. Has anyone called in anything unusual? Car accident or homicide? Yeah, nothing's come in. Uh, would you like a hand? No, thank you. I thought I'd go through recent logs here, but you're right. There's nothing here. I think I'll head down to the church and see if I miss something. You, uh, you sure you don't need a hand? Yeah, I'm good. I'll go this one alone. Thank you. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, I'm up. Uh, right. Merry Christmas. Bouncy chair. These are the trifecta of parenting. Now let me add that baby. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so sorry to take you away from the kids. I just, she wouldn't stop crying. It's okay. I, Dan is reading them the night before Christmas, and honestly, this is the only night of the year they go to sleep without a fight. <gasps> How cute are you? easy for you. Don't beat yourself up. It takes practice, that's all. It took me many a year to earn this black belt. Any luck finding the parents? I guess I just thought it would come easier to me. <laughs> Here, watch. Oh, no. Oh, she's finally happy. You hang on to her. Teach a woman to fish and all that. Look. OK, slight adjustment. I'm just going to pull your elbow a little bit. Aim for the base of the neck. Give it a second. 
Instant pro. Sorry. I don't know why I'm crying. Still take your coffee block. mess with the church on a regular day, but on the eve of his son's birthday, that it's like a super sin. Just me, Father. <sighs> Sorry, I should have knocked. I didn't think anyone would be here this late. <laughs> Sorry, officer. I thought it was some kids messing around. Unfortunately, I'm not getting many leads. I thought I'd have another look around. Fresh eyes. So, no luck helping the baby. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Unlike you, I don't have a busy day tomorrow. You're new here, right? Yes, sir. Just transferred. I grew up in a town nearby. Well, welcome. I hope you like our quiet town. Yeah, I think it's just what I need right now. Is that an acceptable response? Ah, uh, well, they're all acceptable. And when it comes to what you believe in, there's no right or wrong. Good to know. You're a good person? Do the right thing? Yeah, I think so. And that's really all my boss cares about. Look, you like helping people. He likes people who help people. Remember, my door is always open. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Father. Been up all night. She's awake. Why are we whispering? I wanted to see how long you would do it. <sighs> you must be exhausted. Honestly, I'm not. I've lost a lot of sleep in life, but this was the best reason to lose sleep. <laughs> Any luck with Joy? Fortunately, nothing. It's like she just appeared. Look, I'd like to uh, apologize for yesterday. I know I get set in my ways. No, it's fine. I do too. We're both just trying to protect Joy in our own way. 
What's in the bags? Uh, well, I didn't get much sleep either last night. Not a lot is open over the holidays, so keep that in mind. The options for kids' toys was a little limited. This is technically the gas station's mascot, but I figured Joy is still around zero, so we should probably be able to enjoy its basic shapes. That's very sweet. I also got you a little something. Oh, just what I asked Santa for. <laughs> That's not all. Really? Don't get too excited. Remember my options. I did remember when I was putting in the car seat, your wipers were a little worn out, so. Oh, thanks. Put them off you already. Honestly, that might be the best Christmas present I've had in years. Car maintenance is not my strength. I have this other thing. I know babies like these. It feels kind of stupid. Oh, my goodness. Brock, you made a mobile? Yes. I, I couldn't remember what it was called. It's not great, but it should spin. I just know she had a rough night. I didn't want her Christmas to be ruined too, you know? What? You're not a jerk. <laughs> and that was almost a compliment. It's Christmas miracles for both of us. <laughs> Why don't I get us some breakfast? Actually, I grabbed some Christmas food. Do you prefer Christmas nachos? <laughs> or... Christmas hot dogs. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I see this guy, huge. I mean, I was a kid, but I still think he was around nine feet tall. He walks back to the lady, hands her the watch, and says, I believe this is yours. And ever since then, I knew I wanted to be a cop. You think he practiced that? Practice what? Like, that line. You said he chased the guy who stole it for a couple of blocks. So clearly, he had some time to come up with it on the way back. Yeah, maybe. Never thought of that. I probably would have said, his time ran out. Or, it was his time to pay the price. What would you have said? I don't know. Here's your watch. You should really carry some pepper spray. <laughs> Come on. That sucks. Do a pun. All right. Uh, I guess I would say something like, I guess he thought time could fly. Oh, sorry. Forgot to tell you. He ran out and he got hit by a car. Oh. He flew like four feet in the air. Oh. The watch was OK. How about you? What made you want to get into this? Happened by accident, really. I just kept helping people. Eventually, I was told about this job, and while I was waiting in the waiting room, I was literally helping a kid with her homework. Barry didn't even interview me. He said, you are the right person for this job. After that, I took some night classes, and I got my degree. Born for it. It's okay. I've been out all night. Let me. <laughs> what? Am I doing it wrong? I just never pictured Christmas being like this. Just this one or everyone? I've been so focused on my career. But when I look at Joy, I just... Sorry, what was that? She likes it when you sing to her. It's been a long time since the Academy Choir, but... To receive her king, let
Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. And look at this. Look how happy you all are. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. look who's had a good visit. She's been no trouble at all, actually. Oh. In fact, I was thinking if all the foster homes are... Well, actually, that's why I came by. Candace's has some space. Oh. That's great, right? Yeah. Frees us up to figure things out? Yeah. I mean, it's good news, right? Yeah, perfect. I'll get her stuff together. Hey, Barry. Mm -hmm. Allison and I can drop Joy off at Candace's. Are you sure it's Christmas? Yeah, it's on the way to my brother's. OK, that's great. I'll text you the address. Thanks. Well, all right, my little lady. I guess I'll have some time to locate your parents before the big hearing. Wait, what hearing? Well, Child Protection Services hearing. If no one claims her by then, she'll go into the system. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry about that. It is protocol. All right, I've got her things together. Change your plan. Car seat's in your car. Do you want to drop Joy off together? Sure. Let me get dressed. Well, I'll be taking off. Merry Christmas. Jess, is this the same bowl I asked you to put away? Sorry, Candace. <laughs> Hi, and Merry Christmas. Candace, I take it. Ah, uh, I'm not sure anyone else wants the job. Hi. <laughs> and you must be Allison. Hi there. You have a wonderful home. Oh, I've been blessed in so many ways. And who do we have here? Joy. Or at least that's what we've been calling her. Joy. Sure looks like a joy, doesn't she? You know, Candace, seems like you have your hands full here. I beg your pardon? Just seems really busy. Oh, uh, no, this is actually a lot quieter than it usually is. Uh, there's plenty of love to go around. This one is about to get showered with affection. Is it safe, though? Excuse me? Allison, I think Candace's home is well equipped. Thank you. Sorry. Of course it is. You know, I've been thinking, maybe it makes more sense to leave Joy at my place. I I've got the space. Oh, I think that's a great idea. I, I think Candace here is far more qualified than we are. I think our time is best spent finding Joy's parents. Yeah. I think that sounds like a good idea. Oh, you are just the sweetest little pea. <laughs> Kids, we have a Christmas visitor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Candace, we'll get out of your hair. Okay. Thanks for everything. She's in good hands. You two just go do what you need to do. Hey, baby, coming in. Oh, hey. Can you going to say hello? <gasps> you want to tell me what that was? What? Do you always question foster parents like that? Because last I checked, you were still interested in finding these parents, right? Of course. You still want to arrest them? I guess we'll both do our family thing. We'll meet at the station in the morning. Makes the most sense. You, uh, you still going to your mother's? Yeah. You still going to your brother's? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great time. Yeah, you too. Allison, she's in great hands. This place is perfect. It couldn't be better for her. See you tomorrow.
Hi, David. Help! My cousin is missing, and I'm stuck having to listen to Great Aunt Jill's third Christmas toast today. Christmas cheer came a little early for her. Anyways, usually you're here by now, and uh, we're making fun of everyone. I was starting to get a little worried, especially when you were answering my texts. I'm sorry, David. I've been stuck on this baby case. I don't think I'm gonna make it today. And I'm sorry that I can't be of any more help to you. I know you would. Even I'm at loose ends as to what I should do. But I'm not up for the festivities. Hey, David, can you get over here? Coming! Merry Christmas, David. Allison, save yourself and save that baby. Allison. Ah, did you bring it? Of course. One, two, three, happy holidays! <laughs> <sighs> the best. <laughs> How are the grandkids? They're angels. How could angels be bad? That's a good point. <laughs> well, eh, and here you go. I had these made special <sighs> just for you to bring to your mom. Gorgeous, as always. No, 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 no. Every year I say no, you try to say yes, I say no, please. This year we will skip all of this and just say we are lucky to know each other. You're a wonderful man, Saul. Something is different? Something I cannot place? You think? Mm. I think I need to give you this. Come on. Come, come. <laughs> You're right. I did need that. OK, so I'm keeping you from your visit. Tell your mom Saul sends his warmest regards and says thank you for creating such a wonderful woman for the world. Bless you, Saul. God bless you, Alice. For the grandkids. You spoil them. Morning, Mom. <sighs> Beautiful Christmas, isn't it? Saul sends his regards, as always. Work is good. Kind of, sort of, have a new partner. Temporary while we work on this case. <laughs> Before you ask, yes, he's cute. And we'll leave it at that. I had a baby, Mom. I mean, it wasn't mine, and it was only for a short while, but... When I was holding her... Mom, I suddenly understood what everyone was talking about. Why they wait in line to get a picture with Santa. Why they wait up all night and they don't come home. All at once, I understood how much you loved us. I never thought I wanted it. And it suddenly hit me. How much I needed it. Anyway, it's all over now. 
What a weird Christmas. I miss you. I love you. I'm always thinking of you. Merry Christmas, Mom. I'm just saying, you never come to service before. I'm surprised. Maybe instead of insulting him, we can just be happy Brock came. Thank you, Yolanda. My wife likes me more than she likes you. Uh, she likes a lot of people here more than she likes me. Seated. It's always nice when we get a full house. Yeah. I love this time of year. Everyone's a little kinder to one another. Everyone smiles a little more. And maybe you're kind because you, you love a chubby man in a red suit. <laughs> Either way, I want to thank you all for your kindness. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we could carry that kindness throughout the year? I know, I know. The idea that one baby could make us happier well, seems a little crazy. But then again, here we are 2,000 years later. Is everything all right, officers? My apologies, Father. Everything's okay. I guess it's going to be hard to get your attention now. Why don't we come together and sing a hymn? All rise, please. So these cameras, then? Just for show. Of course they are. I mean, what situation would you possibly want them to work? Well, if you'd like to pay for them to record, I'd be more than happy to set that up for you. Where are the parents? OK, deep breath. Sorry, Chief. She's pretty fired up. We know someone was here. Best we can tell, it was one person. We found a car seat in the room. Has anyone gone through? No one's touched the room. I wanted to let you sweep it first. I want to help. OK, with all due respect, I don't think having you in an active crime scene is a great idea. I've been here multiple times for casework. I know the area. I can question locals who know me and trust me. Maybe they've seen someone coming in and out of here. If that's Joy's car seat, you need me. Brock, it's your scene. I'll let you decide. I think she'd be a big help. 
Okay, let's get to work. I'd like to see the check-in list, please. Thanks for that. I mean it. I can help. I'll go ask questions. It's a great idea. You'll have to wait, ma'am. We can't have you go in there. We have to check the room for evidence. Well, you know I can't wait. I'm gonna get in there and clean that room. Like I said, ma'am, we can't have you go in there right now. Yeah, but it's, like, my job. I need to get in there. And I gotta vacuum the floors, clean the sheets, swap the towels, and who knows what else. Yeah, and I'm just trying to do my job, ma'am, and that's to make sure that people can't go in this room. All right? Are you sure? All right. Bye. Sorry for the inconvenience, miss. Uh, we've already spoken to your manager, and he's agreed to help us with the situation. It'll only take a few hours. Once we're done, I'll let you know. Whatever. You know, I don't have time for this. Thank you. Thank you so much. OK. What do you need? Put me to work. Well, step one to any good investigation is you don't step directly on the investigation. So, a few people have seen a young girl coming and going with a baby. They didn't have any other details besides the fact she was wearing a red hoodie. So that's something, right? Yeah, that's something. What's wrong? That's good, right? Yeah. I mean, I just maybe thought it wouldn't be that simple, you know? Isn't that the best case scenario? She just left her. That kid is literally perfect. There's not one thing wrong with her. She's gonna grow up, she's probably gonna do incredible things. And that mom just abandoned her. It's possible that she thought she was doing what was best for Joy. Knowing she couldn't care for her, she did what she thought was right at the time. I would never do that. No matter how hard things got, I would never do that. Whatever that little girl needed, I would make sure she had, you know? Your brother said a lot of people let you down in life. Was your real mother one of those people? This is not... I'm saying Joy. Who could just leave her? She's done nothing wrong. Whoever it is, I'm sure that there isn't a day that goes by that she doesn't think about that choice she made. Yeah? What if she doesn't think about it at all? And at Christmas, too. Now for the rest of her life, she's gonna be sitting there watching everybody else enjoy their Christmas with their families while she sits there alone. You know how hard that's gonna be for her? Why even tell her at all? Promise me that when she grows up, nobody tells her that this happened on Christmas. Because believe me, she is not going to want to know that. Hi. Can we help you? Um, I think you might be looking for me. Yeah, no, I know you want to quote for the news tomorrow, but we cannot release any details at this time. But what I can tell you is, is that we have located the baby's mother. Is the mother a drug addict? Hey, Alana, it's Barry. Uh, let me ask you a question. Um, how old's your daughter? <sighs> um, Claire is five. A and she's a wonderful girl. And, and when she grows up, you know, if someone came to me and asked me if she were a drug addict, you know I'd come to her defense right away, right? I apologize. Can I ask another question? Will the child be given back to the mother, or is she getting arrested? Obviously, every case is unique, and there are no easy answers. But with that being said, there are laws in place, and it's up to the officer in charge to decide which, if any, charges will be laid. Now, that should satisfy your readers. I myself will be reading the flyers for the after Christmas <laughs> sales. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Barry. Merry Christmas, Chief. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Lana. Come on, let's go line up for some door crashers.
Look at how hungry she is. She must be terrified. Yeah. It's gonna make it a lot harder. Make what harder? You know I have to lay charges, right? Brock, she's 16. She's just a kid. This is my job. There are laws. Why are you fighting me on this? We both know the law can be lenient. She left her. She could have died. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Please, don't make her suffer because of what your mom did. I'm a professional. Look, don't make up your mind yet. Let me talk to her first, please. Legally, I can't talk to her unless her parents are here. If she'll talk to you, then so be it. Hi, Tracy. I'm Allison from Child Protection Services. Is Christina okay? Christina? Oh, Joy. Um, yes, Christina's fine. Happy, healthy, and in good hands. How are you? How do I answer that? I know. It's not easy answering these types of questions. Think of it as just two people talking. Can I see her? I think it's important we understand what happened first. Is the father around? Maybe we can get him in here for you. No, uh, he's gone. See, I met him and my mom hated him. And of course now I, I see that she was right, but when I got pregnant, he said that we could go live with his cousin on his farm. And what happened with that? Honestly, I don't know. Everything was going great, and then we got here on the way through, and Chris wouldn't stop crying. But it wasn't her fault. We were in the car for like six hours. Is that when you dropped her off? No, no, of course not. Um, we stopped at a little diner, and and Matt said he had to use the washroom, but the next thing I know, I was watching him drive off. He left you there? He dumped all the baby stuff out, but my bag was still in the car, so I had no phone, no anything. Luckily, I hid 80 bucks in the diaper bag, but I went away pretty quick. Why didn't you call your parents? <laughs> you could have made a collect call. I don't know. Embarrassed, ashamed. It's just my mom, and I knew how upset she would be. And she has so much on her plate. I was supposed to be helping her. <laughs> you don't think that baby's worth being embarrassed over? Ah, uh, sir. I know. I know that you're right. I see it now, but it's easy to see now. When I dropped Chris off at that church, I hadn't eaten in two days. She'd barely eaten. I know it sounds stupid, but I saw everything there, all the people, and, and I thought maybe God was telling me to leave her there. I know how it sounds, but it's the truth. So instead of getting help, you buried yourself in deeper. Can I talk to you for a second? What are you doing? My job. I don't get to deal with everyone's happy then. I need to deal in facts, not my feelings. Oh, really? Because you came in pretty hot with some feelings. I entertain this, and I listen. But as soon as that girl's mother gets here, I'm charging her with reckless abandonment. What? No. No, I didn't mean to. No, no, I didn't mean to. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was doing the right thing. You'll get a proper hearing in the morning. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is just part of it, okay? I'm gonna help you. We're gonna get through this, okay? Hey! Look. You I can sit you... here and tell yourself that you're doing your job or following the law or doing the right thing all you want. But if you took one second, one second, to stop and look past your own issues, that you'd see there's a child in there. A scared, helpless child. Exactly the kind of person you swore you wanted to protect. But you couldn't, 
because you're so blinded by your projections that you couldn't see that she needed you. Christina and Tracy needed you, and you failed. Her mother's here, wants to see her. Show her in. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go in there and do the job I swore I'd do. you got there. <laughs> it takes a strong soul to search for help. We at Child Services are here to help you and your family figure out this path. There are lots of options available to young mothers and we have lots of support in the community. We also work with several agencies who help place babies with adoptive parents. I can't say I've been the most supportive. This has been hard on me since I had Tracy when I was so young. But raising her and her brothers have been my greatest love. But there has been a bit of pain. It's not what I wanted for her. I thought I could do this by myself. But I see now that there's a whole community here to help Christina and I. To help me make the right choices for her. You know, I'll always be here for you and your baby. Thank you. walking and reflecting. Thought I'd take you up on that door always open. Yeah, of course. I, I take it that phone call earlier. That was about the baby? I mean, I get everyone wants that happy ending. That's not my job. Sometimes someone has to be the bad guy. I don't enjoy it. Uh, I don't imagine you would. Allison was right. I probably should have gotten a little easier on her. Maybe tried to see her side of it. And I take it you didn't. But that doesn't mean she has to shame me. Honestly, who does that? Did you deserve it? Yeah, probably. Look, I don't know you that well. But I'm gonna say maybe, and I'm gonna stress the maybe. Maybe you're carrying around some anger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I probably am. And how's carrying that around working for you? It's getting my ears chewed off. Well, I'm no therapist. How about you start from the beginning? I'm all ears, and my ears are still intact. No, it's OK. It's Christmas. You have other things to do. My boss, my boss tells me what to do. What do you got to lose? I'm adopted. I guess a better way to put it is my mom dumped me. I'm thankful for the family that took me in. But still, it was Christmas, and I still remember calling for her, getting no answer in that room. She just left and just didn't come back.
Tracy, can you tell us why you left your daughter? Don't worry, sweetie. You don't have to say anything. Uh, Mom, I want to. Tracy, some people are calling you a saint. Others, reckless. What do you have to say? When I saw the nativity scene, I felt like Mary. Alone, hungry, desperate. And then I saw the light from the manger. It was like God was giving me a sign to help my daughter. Hello? Hey. Just checking in. You get any sleep? Not really. I've been trying to get together as much as I could. I really need to capitalize on the fact that she was alone. I've been trying to find this deadbeat father, but... You know, it seems like you might be getting a little too close to this case. Are you sure you shouldn't let Barry take this one? I wouldn't be able to look Tracy in the eyes. Knowing I promised her that I could help her and then didn't? I'd hate myself for it. Letting the chips fall where they may. Any news from Brock? No. You know, it's okay to admit that you like him. I know. I mean, I can. Or I did. Yesterday was big. I don't know if I can be with someone like that. I mean, it makes sense. You are 100% perfect, so. I know. I mean, he does have this other side. You should have seen him singing to Joy. Sorry, her name is Christina. And the little things, he offered me his jacket. And he's cute and funny. I don't know what to do. Does he make you laugh? Yeah. Does he make you smile? Yeah. Is he actually a good person? He is. Then I guess you know how you feel. Perfect. Now I gotta go crush the man in my dreams. Thanks for making it harder than it already was. <laughs> Always. Oh, all set? I think so. Perfect. Drop your things. What? Why? Barry called. Child Services isn't moving forward with the case. Really? Half the world saw this kid on TV saying, God told me to put my daughter in the nativity scene. No lawyer's gonna go after that. I'm surprised. If she doesn't have her own reality show at the end of the week, I'll be amazed. Also, Brock backed down. As the officer in charge, he had the power to dismiss and he took it. What do you mean? Oh, I thought you knew. He's in the courthouse right now, basically giving this glowing report saying that all charges against Tracy be withdrawn. Anyway, life should get back to normal. So enjoy the rest of your holidays. I know I will. Um, Chief? Yeah. Do you know what's happening with the baby? The custody of the child will be released back into Tracy's care. Oh. Crazy how some of our saddest and happiest moments can occupy the same space. Allison, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but if I could just say what I have to say, I promise, if you want, I'll leave and never bother you again. Come on in. Some things I need to work on. And I promise.
promise you I'm going to. I've already started. I know I need to let the bad things of my past stop affecting my future. I know I need to forgive my mother for leaving me. Start thanking her for giving me a family of love and support. But more than all that, Allison, the past few days have really shown me that maybe I'm worthy of a family of my own. Where's your phone? What do you mean, where's my phone? It's in the car. I've been trying to get a hold of you. My heart hurt, and the first person I wanted to talk to was you. I think part of me was closed off and felt like a family was not in the plans for me. And then we had the best Christmas. I couldn't possibly have dreamed of it. You, me, changing diapers. It made me realize that I need to play a bigger role in finding my happily ever after. Open myself to love. Father Mitchell's been teaching me to let go. Over these past few days, I feel like I have let go. Allison, I feel like I'm falling for you. I think donating these baby things back to the community feels like the right thing to do. The donation box is in the quiet room. Go ahead, I'll wait here. We were going to, but I couldn't go without saying thank you for everything. Candace told me all you did for Christina. You don't need to thank me. You just take care of that little ball of perfection right there. Actually, um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Sure. If you want to talk, look, I'll give you my card and you can... I was thinking you... You might want to take her. What? I'm not ready for this. I'm, I have my whole uh, life. Uh, I love her uh, uh, with my whole heart. Uh, Which is why I think this is the right thing. But if it's too much, I understand. I already made arrangements with- I'll take her. Uh, I would love to. Are you sure? I said there's a lot of paperwork and stuff, but... Yeah, of course. I'm great with paperwork. Okay. Very okay. <laughs> yeah. Allison, um... Do you think maybe I can see her from time to time? Anytime you like. It takes a village to raise a child, and you are a very important part of Christina's uh, life. You always will be. <laughs> Brock, you're not gonna believe this. 